University of Birmingham, scientists recently dated an old Quranic manuscript with the help of radiocarbon analysis. As it turns out, this particular manuscript is one of the oldest ones ever. Written on the parchment, it dates back to some time between 568 and 645 Common Era. Since Prophet Muhammad himself lived from 570 to 632 Common Era, it means this Quranic manuscript belongs to the Prophet's lifetime. It is as such quite possible that Quranic verses were written on the parchment by a companion of the Prophet or maybe by a student of one such companion. The calligraphy and lettering on a parchment is an excellent condition, thereby proving it to be the work of an experienced hand. So, what does this newly discovered old Quranic manuscript tell us? The two leaves of the manuscript are written in ink on parchment, using clearly legible Arabic Hijri script. The leaves contain parts of surahs 18 to 20. Since the manuscript was probably meant for native Arabic speakers and readers, there are no special diacritical marks for vowels, but consonants are marked by oblique dashes. Time and again, Islamophobes keep falsely accusing Islam. They claim that Quran originated from a period after Prophet Muhammad. And at times, they go as far as saying that the Quran is no longer the same as it once were. Such ridiculous accusations are obviously false. And this new discovery at Birmingham University is a big slap to the face of Islamophobes around the world. Quite obviously, since this manuscript belongs to a time when the Quranic revelation was still ongoing, it is again proven beyond that that Quran's authenticity is unquestionable. Of course, we as Muslims have known it since day one. But for anyone with even an ounce of doubt, feel free to compare this new found manuscript or the 7th century Quranic parchment found in Sana'a, or the 800 something Kamanira Quranic manuscript of Samarkand with the present day version of the Quran. For centuries, Islamic scholars have understood and utilized the power of the human brain. Back in the day, the luxury of making backup copies of one's valuable data across multiple hard drives and cloud storage was not available. Thus, to preserve the Quran and other important knowledge, Islamic scholars turned towards the only unlimited storage option that they were aware of, the human brain. Memorizing the Quran has been a separate branch of study in its own right, and for centuries Islamic scholars have memorized the full text of the Quran, word to word, syllable to syllable. Of course, present day education system focuses more on external technology rather than human memory such as the use of calculators and computers. Yet, the power of the memorization has played a big role in the preservation of the Quran down the ages.